We're at Silk Road. It's one of the largest and most famous coffee malls in Beijing. You can get black market or knockoff of pretty much every designer brand you can imagine. It's quite a fun experience. And shopping isn't always, but this really is. I mean, we're probably not going to buy anything, but you know, might as well. Whew. We shopped so hard at Silk Road. We had to come to Starbucks. I'm actually, you know how much I hate malls. This was a blast. It is so much fun. For today's adventure, we're getting a little more cultured and going to the Capitol Museum in Beijing. It's free entry, but you have to register ahead of time. So we had the concierge at our hotel call up and make us reservations. Yes, we did say concierge. We did say it in nice places, but... We just started at the Capitol Museum. It is absolutely gorgeous. You probably didn't notice, I got new glasses at the Silk Road Mall. Progressives for less than the price of an eye exam. So, I'll let you know how they work over the coming days and weeks. It seems good so far. And a quirky little thing. These bathrooms have toilet paper and hand soap and hand drying paper at the museum. It's shocking. <laughs> but is it a regular toilet or a squatty bucket? No, it's a regular toilet. That is special. Whole door or half door? Whole door. Oh, this place is heaven. There's a lot of awesome stuff here. This stuff is over 3,000 years old. That was 3,000. 3,000. Holy cow. That's made of bone. That's all from the Ming and the Xing dynasties. Rosewood desks and vases, wow. We're just finishing the Capitol Museum in Beijing. There is so much history here. The artifacts and what we see blew my mind. It's, it's incredible. It's free, come, when you come to Beijing. Well, we've said the only down part of Beijing has been the air quality. Today, that's fixed. Check this out. I can breathe. I know. We had so much fun at the Silk Street Market, we decided what the heck, we went to the other giant coffee ball, the Pearl Market. I'll tell you how we compare. Hello! While we're up on the top of the Pearl Market, with the air being clear today, this is the most beautiful view of Beijing. Holy cow. The Silk Street Market was awesome. This one's just okay. If you want pearls, come to this one. Because there's three floors of them. <laughs> oh, and the weather's so nice today. So this is just the beginning of our feast. Apparently half of the expats in Beijing are from Oregon. Nah. <laughs> we are. We are. <laughs> that was for South Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the factory. But the <laughs> Adam and Kevin are taking us out and showing us the local expat flair, and it is working well. Because Chris and Kate said they like, they like street food, so we're doing it very street. We're on the street, literally sitting next to garbage and recyclables, and we're eating dinner. <laughs> Rock That's on. happening right now. <laughs> You ever in Beijing let these guys pick food for you? Uh huh. Unless you're fancy. Well, we destroyed that. So, Kevin, where are you from and what you do again? <laughs> South Africa and I roast coffee. Are there any questions why I want to be friends with <laughs> that guy? <laughs> Woo! Go, ducks! Yeah, ducks! Go, ducks! Presenting us kind of well. All, all the way across the world, yes. Oh, China. This has been wonderful. What an amazing trip. What an amazing country. We are headed off to our next port of call. I think you'll be happy with the results. Rebecca will. Yes, our niece Rebecca is begging to be airmailed to our next stop. So uh, we're off to the airport. So we always like to try something new. Something in a can. 
We've been seeing these things everywhere, so we had to try them. Oh, this one's really good. It's just a metal di metal medley, 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 medley. Thank you. Of all different sorts of nuts and rice, and it's sweet with the corn. I would actually recommend this. Time to wait for a plane. Video. Leave the thumbs up and subscribe! No, no, that was good.